earning money is a skill set. Just like playing the piano, riding a bicycle is a skill set. Do you want to make more money? I'm guessing that the answer would be yes. How many books have you read about money in the last month? Let me know in the comment section. How many books have you read about money in the last month? How many podcasts have you listened to about money in the last month? What about YouTube videos? And I'm not talking about documentaries where they are bashing rich people. <laughs> I'm talking about books that teach you how money works. It's amazing how we go most of our lives working for money, you know, worrying about money and toiling for money. And yet so few of us ever spend any time aiming to learn about money, to learn how money works. This, this was so intriguing for me the first time and I can't remember when this lesson hit me but the minute it did, something in my mind just changed because oftentimes we look at people that are rich, people that are wealthy, people that are making money we look at them and be like, oh, some people are just blessed, you know, they are, they are making money or they have money or they are just lucky but for a lot of these people, they are first generation wealth builders which means that they did not have a mother or a father pass down wealth to them or pass down opportunities for them and yet somehow they've been able to create that wealth for themselves so let me break it down differently say you were a salesperson, right? and you made the bulk of your money on commissions now what would it take for you to go from earning maybe $50,000 a year to earning a million dollars a year? skill set and knowledge set that's what it would take it would take you up leveling your skill set learning how to make a million dollars a year as a salesperson for you to achieve that for yourself what would it take for you to go from an entrepreneur who is barely making any sales to an entrepreneur who's making a million dollars in sales skill set and knowledge set it would take you learning the skills and getting the knowledge to be able to do that for yourself what would it take to go from someone who is broke and struggling financially to go into someone who is making millions every single month? It would take, again, skill set and knowledge set. The reason why me and you are in the financial situations that we're in and we're looking to build our finances and get out of broke down and get into financial freedom is because we don't have the skill set or knowledge set that would help us get to where we want to go. And the difference between here and there is first and foremost understanding what those skills are and what the knowledge is that we need to grow into those positions. And yet, so many of us are not spending time trying to get the skill or trying to get the knowledge set. It's almost like the topic of money is something that we is not discussed in schools, it's not discussed in churches, it's not discussed at home. And so a lot of people pay almost no attention to earning it. How do I earn it? A lot of us just follow the blueprint that society gives us, which is go out, go to school, get a job. But as we've seen in this world, it's not enough to just get a job and work every single month and earn a salary. If you want to increase your income, you're either going to have to increase your value at that company to the point where you're being paid more, or you're going to have to create other sources of income for yourself outside of your job and pair that with your, with your job until you can afford to leave your job. Whichever of these situations you decide to play in, you're going to need to up-level the skill set and the knowledge sets to get there. And yet, so many of us are not doing the work we need to up-level financially. And what does that look like? It looks like reading books. It looks like instead of scrolling Instagram endlessly or necessarily, it looks like going instead to watch a YouTube video that's actually talking about how to earn money. One of the things that I learned when I started to dedicate myself to learning how to earn money was that the first step out of brookdom is skill. You need to get a skill that can solve a problem for someone out there in the world for you to earn money. If right now you have zero dollars in your bank account, what is the fastest way to go from zero dollars to one dollar? Is to find a problem you can solve for somebody that you can charge one dollar for or that they'll be willing to pay you a dollar for. Now, the higher the level of problems that you solve for people, the higher the money you earn. If the skill that you have only allows you to wash a car, that's the skill that you have, only allows you to go to the grocery store, these are problems that people cannot solve by themselves. They are not high level problems that people have to scratch their brain and their minds to figure out solutions to. They can do them for themselves. So even if that, so even if someone is super busy and doesn't have time, I highly doubt that they'll be willing to pay you $10,000 to go to the grocery store for them. But then 
let's say someone is trying to buy their first home and they don't know how to go about buying or building their home if you possess that knowledge and you possess that skill they will be willing to pay you more for the knowledge pay you more for the skill for them to do it without stress so why they're going to pay the person who is solving the errand problem for them $20, they're going to be willing to pay the person who is helping them solve this other problem with buying their first home or building their first home $2,000. The difference between the $20 and the $2,000, the level of problems that you're solving. And this is the first principle in getting yourself out of brokedom. When I learned this, my mind was blown. So my ability to earn in this world depends on what I am bringing to the world. How am I serving other people around me? In the book I'm reading now, it says that your earning potential is connected to your service ability. The CEO is, not, is never going to be paid the same amount of money as a doorman. The kind of problem that the CEO is solving is not the kind of problems that the doorman is going to solve. And so if we don't dedicate ourselves, commit ourselves to learning more and more about money, how to earn more money, you know, and then applying those principles that we're learning and taking the action, we're always going to be in financial situations where we're struggling. We're always going to play at the same level financially. There are rules to the game of money. The game of managing money, earning money, investing money, it's a game. And this game of money, you're never going to learn if you don't apply yourself. If you are thinking like I am thinking that I want to get my finances in a row in 2023, I want to get back on my feet with my money, I want to start earning my money, I want to triple how much I earn, then you have to start to play the game of 3%. And what's the game of 3%? I'm reading this book called No Excuses by Brian Tracy and in the book, he talks about the principle of 3% that most companies use when deciding how much of their budget is going to be directed to building people's capacity, trainings for people, courses for people, leadership conferences that they're going to send their employees to so that they come back better able to help the company grow. And the principle is basically that for whatever money that you earn, you dedicate 3% of that money into your own self-investment. Now, you may be in a situation where you can't afford to even pull out 3%. That's okay. There's a reason why we have podcasts and YouTube channels and Instagram handles of people who are discussing the topic of money, how to earn more money, how to uplevel your skills so that you can earn more money. When we dedicate our curiosity to learning more about something, what happens? Our skill set and knowledge set around that thing starts to grow. And so does our ability to achieve that thing as we begin to apply those principles in our everyday lives. I challenge you, if earning more money is something that you want to do for yourself, dedicate yourself to learning about the topic. It's almost like someone that says, oh, I want to have a happy marriage like I do. But then you don't want to dedicate yourself to learning about your partner or learning how to create a happy marriage. How exactly does that work? You have to put yourself in rooms and situations where you could actually learn how to do the thing that you say you want to learn. That also applies to money. So if you're watching the video and this is a goal that you've set for yourself, Go on Google after this video and find 10 books to read about money and start with one. Pick one that connects most to you and start with that one. Whichever the book is, start with that book and keep going from there. There are podcasts about money that you can listen to. I'm going to link some books and I'm going to link some podcasts in the um, cap in the description box below. I want you to go and check them out. Subscribe to them. Start to listen to them. If you're watching this video, it means that you have the internet access to do so. Sacrifice some Netflix time for more time learning about money. Sacrifice some time watching, you know, skits on Instagram for more time learning about money. That's how we create the results that we're trying to create for ourselves, especially and even with money. When people tell you that, oh, people just get rich by luck. Well, yeah, sometimes that happens. But again, in a situation where you have a thousand people, it's like one person in 10 years is going to win the lottery. <laughs> Do you really want to play your life that way or do you want to get in the driver's seat of your life and start to co-create with God, start to co-create with the universe? Applying yourself to learn more about the principles around making money and start to apply those principles in your own life.
guys i'm not sitting down here having this conversation because now i'm a millionaire no <laughs> like i moved countries and instantly just by moving countries my financial situation just went pfft, because now i have to learn how to earn money from scratch here and what i'm sharing is what i'm learning on the process to doing that i'm so glad to always sit down here and catch up with you if you love the video please do give it a like so that other people can find the video and subscribe to the channel until next time bye bye